Hi, I'm Greta. And I'm Claudia. And welcome to Knitters and Critters, where we talk about Critical Role Campaign 3. Ooh. Yeah. So We're on to episode 27. 27. Can you it. It? Yeah. No um, car race this episode. Little disappointed. I know. <laughs> Won't lie. <laughs> really? We're still planning? We're still planning. Well, it's so funny because I think like at the beginning of the episode, Dusk was like, what, is there really a really point in putting all this effort and planning? Because the plans just go to shit the minute you start anyway. And then at the end of the episode, Dusk was still like trying to like corral the plans together. And obviously she's she's up to no good or, or they're up to no good, excuse me. But um, I think it says something about the Bell's Hells that the random stranger that they met two days ago <laughs> Like, is the one uh, trying to like seriously move them along and like push the plan into motion <laughs> um all of dusk's conniving while we're talking about about them like so funny this episode <laughs> yeah they were really trying to get between the the bffs between yeah the and i'm glad that they finally made up me too me too um, but that moment when Imogen was like, hey, let's go talk out in the hall and like Dusk slides in there to talk to Ladna. <laughs> like, oh, you know exactly what you're doing there. <laughs> that is no joke. Um, and then later on when when Dusk asked out Orem, I don't know about you, but to me that seemed less like Dusk just wanting to get with somebody and more like maybe they pegged Orem as like the only one in the party that kind of has their their life together mm -hmm. and like maybe Orem's the only one that they feel like could potentially be a threat in a fight yeah and I mean Orem, like Orem knock him off the scent right and uh Orem you know tried to I think Orem the character is very suspicious mm -hmm. uh especially with that oh you know let's spar let's see what you got yeah you know? um trying to figure out what what dusk's kind of strengths are in combat yeah. you know and um i think more of the players are definitely suspicious but some of their characters are still not there yeah yeah you can tell that there's some compartmentalization going on because i'm sure by now the big reveal has been spoiled to all of them <laughs> yeah. yeah plus you know having erica at the table continuously you know, uh, texting mad. There was obviously a lot of communication going on back and forth. Yeah, uh, yeah. And um, I caught Travis kind of going like, what the fuck are you doing? You yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, maybe, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> clocking things, clocking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if I'm not mistaken, the in the final roster, it's going to be Dusk and or um, potentially trying to hijack a different crawler. Is that right? Yeah. You think Dusk is going to maybe use that opportunity to accidentally no, <laughs> push Orem into harm's way? Yeah. So that's got to be something that they're thinking about being, having all of the Hell's Bells, the Bell's Bells, <laughs> plus Still not uh, Birdie right. and Ollie. Right. Like, that's, even for someone who's high level, that's a lot of people to be taking on. Yeah, and you know when you have them all in a very dangerous situation, you know stuff happens. You yeah. never know. Life is uncertain. Yeah. Um, we having poor FCG like what is it like <laughs> <You get> duct taped? <laughs> right. <laughs> like just a hood ornament. <laughs> no, no, please. No, that's not okay. Speaking uh. of FCG, there there's some glitching going on there. Yeah. A lot of stuff that they're saying is like, I'm sorry, what? What did you say? What? Yeah. Is yeah. What? Yeah. That was, um, you know, Sam always plays things pretty close to the vest, but it was really like so compelling to watch him act that part out because like, oh, something is maybe more profoundly amiss with FCG than I think everyone might be thinking. Yeah. So that, oh, I'm so nervous Cyrus. about that part. And Cyrus, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. that's going to be interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was a couple of times that they were glitching. And I think it's very, 
very very clear that there's a lot of like layers to what's going on with them and, and yeah. especially now with dancer like is dancer a furball yeah like what, what's up with dancer <laughs> I can't wait I really want to know what's going on with FCG like yeah yeah the resident uh counselor <laughs> yeah <laughs> well I think they say no one needs therapy more than therapists so <laughs> um but you mentioned earlier uh Imogen and Lada kind of making up thank god <laughs> I know this, time. <laughs> this had gone on long enough and yeah. we needed yeah. our birthdays back together. Yeah, no kidding. Um, and they talked a little bit about Imogen's dream, but I kind of wish that they had talked a little bit more about like what actually happened with Delilah taking over Laudna's body. Yeah. Um, because I feel like that has some far reaching implications for the future. Because you know Delilah's only going to get more powerful through everything that, that Laudna is doing. Yes. Um, so, and then later in the episode when Laudna was given that those drugs from All Minds Burn, and I was like, oh my God, don't take it. Don't take it. Because you know some random crime syndicate isn't going to be more powerful than Delilah. And she's just going to take them all over and have all of these meat puppets doing her bidding. <laughs> I don't want her to take them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hasn't Basra struck, like struggled enough? <laughs> you know, Basra is like I had mentioned a couple of episodes ago. In, in Spanish, it means trash. <laughs> this is totally living up to that Spanish translation because there is so much garbage going on here. You know, like they're triggering. Everybody's getting triggered, and there's so much like potential for complete. Like, oh my gosh, I can't. Yeah. I, I'm kind of surprised by how much longer this this Bosphorus arc is taking. For whatever reason, I just kind of had it in my mind that they'd be here for like three episodes and then moving on. But now it's kind of seeming like many, many people have ties to this relative nobody city. I mean, we were just talking about Imogen when they went to um, speak with the Paragon's Call and they right? met Oda, Odahan, I think is, there, is her name. Yeah. Like, is that the lady from the dream? <laughs> the lady. I know, like they were just, they were being described and, and it was like, oh, wait a minute. Wait yeah. A minute. Yeah. This is, this is the, the lady from Imogen's dream. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of ties here and, oh yeah. I can't wait for next episode. I hope it's not another planning episode. My gosh, I will lose my mind. <laughs> in, in like one regard, though, it is slightly relatable. I mean, in our own D and D game. Oh like yeah. How long have we been planning to fight this one dragon in this and we past? Know. And we it's like know. been over a year. <laughs> we just like need to do it. <laughs> I know. I'm excited about that. I'm excited. <laughs> we haven't played that game in what? How long? Months? Forever? At least, yeah, probably close to a year at this point, just because yeah. life happens. But... And I know that your brother and my oldest, mm -hmm. <laughs> they just, just dying. Like every other phone dying. call with my brother, he's like, so about the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Carl. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we will. And we'll all die. Because we're all dying. Prepared. We are too squishy. <laughs> we're way too squishy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so any bets on who's going to be making it out of the race unscathed or are we going to make it all out? <laughs> Do you think we're going to lose somebody in this race? Not Dusk. Oh gosh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Not Dusk. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to lose anyone in the race. I feel like someone has to be getting hurt. It just seems like yeah. too dangerous of a thing for no one to get out like completely unhurt. Yeah, I think something's um, gonna it's gonna be very ouchy. Um, I don't yeah. think it's gonna be. I don't think we're losing anyone just because there are still so many. Like, I mean, Imogen's story still has a far to go. Um, yeah, you know, Orem still has far to go. Lana still has far to go. FCG, yeah. they're all. Yeah, it would be a real so a real blow. I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, to lose someone yeah, this this is early on. Be... Let's not Molly this again. <laughs> There's some like major roller derby <laughs> shenanigans coming up, you know, 
Uh, yeah. I was really excited that they are going to be able to get two of the crawlers rather than just one, because I think that'll be just as a viewer more fun to watch. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. I don't know. Fingers crossed, y'all, for a, a, a the finally the car race next episode. <laughs> we want that race already. We do. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that those are my highlights. Did you have any other honorable mentions you wanted to talk about for this episode? Um, let's see. No, I mean, that was, that was pretty much, I think everything, uh, I did notice that maybe Erica was tipping, uh, their hand with all the obvious communication, but I just don't see how else they could yeah. have you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I know that people were mentioning that it was, it was really obvious, but I just, I don't see any other way that yeah. they, could, they could do that because they needed to communicate, you know, the dusk is spying on, on everybody and, yeah. uh, you know, trying to overhear conversations and all of that. And it's like, well, how else, how else do you do that? Yeah. Than, than having this understanding with your DM, you can't say, well, you know, I'm going to roll for stealth so I can, you know, eavesdrop on. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a really good point. And someone, I can't remember their name, but in our comments in the last video mentioned that they suspected that Dusk is actually higher level, which means that somewhere Erica's probably also having to keep track of a separate character sheet. Mm -hmm. So then some of that texting is very likely like, okay, which stats do I use for this? And how do I roll this so that Travis isn't seeing that I rolled something, but I'm adding a completely different bonus to it. <laughs> yeah, like Travis and Marisha. Like, yeah. Like <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. I'm almost more excited for the dusk reveal than I am for the, the crawler race, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah. But I'll probably have to wait another month for that. So I'll just, you know, settle for the, <laughs> for the race next episode. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> well, I think that is probably it for us this episode of Knitters and Critters. Please drop some comments below. What do you think Erica was up to last episode and what's going to happen next? We love chatting with you all. Yeah. Um, and as always, like and subscribe to the channel. It really does mean a lot to us. All right. See you next time. Bye.